New technological developments are bringing the vision of accident-free transportation closer and closer, even in large commercial vehicles. Electronic assistance systems are constantly being improved and extended into new areas and new functions. On the grounds of Berlin's Schönefeld Airport, Mercedes demonstrates the current state of the technology for utility vehicles like buses and trucks. Wolfgang Bernhardt, the head of Daimler's trucks division, says that trucks turning corners in the city still cause serious accidents, especially with cyclists the drivers don't see in their blind spots. Daimler has now developed a sensor system that recognizes bike riders, warns the driver, and applies the brakes if the driver doesn't react. No one in the city would want to experience these driving maneuvers by an articulated bus. But new materials and technologies ensure that the driver maintains control even in extreme situations. This bus has a lightweight and yet extremely stable frame, as well as what is called ramp angle steering. The systems function in many ways like an electronic stability program. ESP systems have been a standard in Mercedes cars for 20 years. The carmaker first introduced them in 1995 in the S-Class. Within a few years, the control program was optimized for use in buses, transporters, and trucks. That wasn't easy considering the carmaker's wide range of vehicle variants and different axle configurations, superstructures, and loads. In the meantime, the lane departure warning system has also reached the road giants. Another example of the successful transfer of safety technology from passenger cars to utility vehicles is the emergency brake assist. In its newest form, Active Brake Assist 3, it doesn't merely minimize the consequences of a collision, it prevents a driver from rear-ending another car completely. Daimler is pushing research in the area especially hard when it comes to tour buses, where the lives of many people are at stake. And the new brake system works not only in buses, but also in heavy trucks. A crucial component of the technology is the adaptive cruise control, which uses radar to keep the vehicle in its lane, and is also able to recognize slow or stop vehicles on the road ahead. Serious highway accidents often involve trucks plowing into cars slowed in traffic jams. Now, experts expect the emergency brake assist to cut the rate of rear-end collisions by heavy trucks in half. The new assist stops the vehicle, says Bernhardt, though not yet for pedestrians or cyclists. That's next on the company's agenda. Mercedes has lots of new ideas to move forward in this area, and he expects a combination of advances to enable self-driving vehicles soon. That will be another step forward in truck safety, he says. In Germany, Mercedes recently received permission to test self-driving trucks on public roads. Vehicles like the Mercedes Future Truck 2025 bring together the latest results of assisted system development. The goal is not merely to make things easier for the driver, but also to increase safety for everyone on the road.